This video is uh, going to be a little bit different. I got to get a hat on. This video is going to be a little bit different than my normal videos. Uh, it's getting into that time of the year. Everyone starts turning on their heat sources. I know John Chipper guy, he's done some videos on their heat sources. Uh, Bill McCoy, he did one, Mr. Michael McCoy. Uh, I use two sources for heat. I use wood and I use anthracite coal. I want to show you, this is my wood stove. This is a 1977 Fisher Grandma. Grandma Bear, I believe they called them. Um, this is a non-EPA legal stove. But if you get food temperature up, not food temperature, uh, yeah, pretty much flu temperature. You get flu temperature up around 400 degrees, it will burn clean. It takes very little time to get it to the 400 degree mark. I can get, I burn it hot. Um, takes about 13 sticks, 13 pieces of firewood, decent sized split wood to fill the firebox up on it. I fill it three times a day. Uh, if I fill it about 9 o'clock at night, 10 o'clock at night, it'll burn through until 6 in the morning. And I'll have a bed of hot coals left in the bottom. But let me show you this quick. I don't have the firebox completely full in it right now. I just reloaded. Um... This is a 77, the 76 has had a 76 on the side. Uh, 78s I believe had a star on their door. I might be wrong with that, but I know the 76 has had a 76 on the side. Um, I don't know what I'm burning at right now. Top of the temperature is only about 150, 175, but that is not always correct because that thermometer takes a very long time to catch up. As you can see, it's not completely full. It might look like it's full, but the whole top of that chamber can take a lot more wood, and those are some big wedges. I also got about eight inches of coals in the bottom of it right now. Now, I do not worry about chimney fires. As you can see, she's rocking right now, and I will let it burn like that. I have a dampener in the back, which I use a piece of wood with a hook on the end to get in to turn my dampener. My flue is hanging wide open right now. And what I do is I burn it hot. Uh, I'll burn it to the point that I know there's no creosote in that pipe. And then I'll close it down. So this runs up, I have the smoke chamber this is an old mountain stone fireplace. I have the smoke chamber cut out with a torch and then I went in with a jackhammer and jackhammered all the stone and everything out so that I could get my flue pipe up in. Up oh, above the smoke chamber, I have a piece of stainless in there with a six inch hole. This is an eight inch outlet stove with a six, I reduced down to six inch. I have a piece of stainless in there with a six inch hole in it where I run single wall black wall up my masonry chimney with my both my chimneys have 14 inch crocs on them so i run six inch up through that i get about a year a little over a year on single wall inside the chimney uh it doesn't bother me that i have to pull the stove and replace it because i pull the stove anyway to make sure my chimney is clean and in good condition but that is my fisher grandma and if it's all right with you guys, I will do one on my coal stove I have on the other side. That is my 983 Hitzer that I burn anthracite coal in. So, all right. That's the Fisher again.